大変だったわね。Well, we're back at this. I wasn't expecting it to just automatically <laughs> load this without me clicking continue, but hey, I'll make do with this and, you know, not get in 100% <laughs> as I go through anyway. それよりも送金の方はよろしく頼む。分かったわ。IBCKU <笑> レマン総本部からの連絡がまた来ていたわよ。いい加減受けてくれる気はないのかって。またそれか。その件に関してはまあ、総本部としては歌手スブライトの代わりを揃えておきたいんですよね。いや、<笑> カレとオレでは役者が違いすぎる。実績にしたところで彼のように国家的な問題を解決したわけ。ええ、でも、ちょっと時間がかかる。正直、身に余る話さ。国家的な問題って言うならレミフェリアの件があるじゃない。対抗
課長おはようございますおはようございます早速ミーティングを始めますかいやその必要はない先ほど本部から連絡があった今日はお前らに特別任務を引き受けてもらうえー、今日は<笑>特別任務なんかうさんくさい響きだなこの前のような捜査任務ということですか残念ながら俺も知らん Oh, they just said, hey, girls, go get him, tell him to do it. Oh, you want to go to the police station? Yeah, let's go to the police station. Oh, you want to go to the police station? Oh, you want to go to the police station? Oh, you want to go to the police station? ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ Oh, hey. やましいことはありそうな反応ですね。あ<笑>、おっしゃら。君たち、警こちらは警備隊の副司令を務めておられるソーニャ兄さん。You know, that's remarkably close to Sonya Blade. <笑> Blade, wait. Yeah, whatever. し失礼しました。ミサと言うと普通の軍隊では中佐に相当。そんなに偉い人なんですか偉いも何も実質警備隊のナンバー2だぞ指揮官としてのカリスマなら間違いなくナンバー<笑>堅苦しくしないでちょうだいあなたたちが特務支援課ねあはい本日は自分たち特務支援課に何かお話がある<笑>応援に思うがい君たちごとき役立たずの新米アイムデスクナスクオープンですこの場はどうか私<笑> It's like, sorry, Jackass, I don't, I don't feel like waiting for your lines to finish. Piss off. <laughs> And what's that? マジの被害調査。オッケー。え、そうね。ここ一月余り自治州各地で特定の魔獣被害が相次いでいるの。その調査の手伝いをあなたたちにお願いしたくてね。ちょ、ちょっと待ってください。クロスベル市内ではなく
わかりましたそういう事情があるなら喜んでそれで魔獣被害の調査というとノエル例のものをはっ Hey Noel what's up どうぞなどんあれこのどうしましたかいいえ警備隊の調査報告書ですねこちらの調査で判明したことは一通りそれに書かれてあるわまずはその調書だけを見て余計な先入観を与えないためにもねなるほどそういうことであれば後ほど拝見させてもらいます<笑>お願いするわねそれでは申し訳ないけど今後は支援課と直接やり取りするから何か分かったら報告をちょうだい了解しました局長どうもお邪魔しましたい,いえいえまた遠慮なくどうぞ<笑><笑>どうやら結構なじめてるみたいねいやー<笑>まあ国境監視や演習よりは楽しく過ごさせてもらってますよそれだけ<笑><笑>ノエル行くわよそれでは失礼します。ああ、やれやるかぜ。つまり、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、直接の上官じゃないけどな、訓練や軍事演習で何とか指導を受けているんだ。大事。人なのに怒らせるとめちゃくちゃ怖いんだよな。<笑>ダンディさんの場合は生活態度が原因なのでは。いやいや。<笑>そうね。<笑>なんだか女性問題でいろいろとトラブルを起こし。そういえば副司令に付き添っていた女性隊員も知り合いなのか。いや。見たことのない顔だったな多分副司令が任されているタングラムモンズメの隊員だろう。OK。おい、そういやお前、なんか気にしてたみたいだな。なんだなんだひょっとして。あら<笑> oh, like, uh... <笑>い,いや、そんなんじゃないってば。ただ、どこかで見かけたような気がして。おふん !Shut up! If you excuse us, we're gonna piss on your fucking door on the way up. Oh, hey, Azure just <laughs> trails to Azure just downloaded. Thank you. Oh, we don't have to respect him. He's not someone worth respecting, so it's fine. What it does warrant is a boot up his ass. Right. Recent string of attacks by unidentified monsters throughout Crossbell, the Garden Force performed an investigation and attempted to evaluate the incidents. Witnesses at each of the three locations report seeing or hearing wolf like monsters. Following three pages detail each case. Oops. Um. <laughs> Can I go back? Oh, well, that was unfortunate. I went to, uh. <laughs> Well, I went to go back and it just kicked me all the way through that. That is、uh, unfortunate because I clicked X once, it jumped two pages, and I was like, oh, oh shit. 
Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have to take your word for it. We are going to read through this after if we can. Or I am, whatever. ロスベルの固有種でしょ。さすがにちょっとわからないな。ただ被害が起きた場所では、はっきりとした足跡なんかもそういう間違いがいるのは確かでも警備隊の捜索では未だに確認されてそれがちょっと気になるけど。ああ
medical college one week ago. Hospital premises. One medical resident was attacked and wounded by the monsters found by the hospital staff the morning after. The injured resident reports in black wolf life monsters. Uh, no evidence near the scene of attack and the statement is vague and possibly inaccurate. Uh, Maine's Vining Village, two days ago, 10 p.m., in front of the inn. Other miners were heading home. Uh, one miner heading home was injured by a pack of monsters, calling a rush to his aid. Townspeople saw wolves escaping. Prints discovered near that resemble those found in America. America. Whatever the pronunciation is. The mining equipment of the town was damaged. This is now the third incident. Patrols may be necessary. Okay. That, see, that's, that's simple. <laughs> that's, that's... Straightforward. Right. What if copies up there? Doubt, talk to the kitty. <laughs> He'll point you in the right direction. Yeah, we will need to do that stuff just because we're low on money. Um, let's do it. Let's do some wandering around. Um, since it's a new week, I wonder if there's a new book thing here to get. Decoration of Ellie's room. Oh. Ellie, what? No. I don't want to head here. To West Street we go. That's not where I want to go. Wait, did I? Okay. This place. Just a house. See, I thought I was already on West Street. I fucked that up. Wait, no, that's not a... Is it? Um... Yeah, cause I'm like, where does uh, Lloyd submit? Yeah, yeah okay. 
Just in case she has anything new to say, because I don't know, I assume she will have points. Yeah, I figured Randy would be really good at cooking a steak. Don't really, not really, you know, any solid reason other than he seems like the type of, he seems like the type of guy who, you know, does like his meat. Not you know, he's like, Yeah, I need a good steak, need a good burger, you know, he seems like that kind of person. <laughs> oh, you're just giving the juice recipe away? I mean, that's awesome. Space Mirage is 30, four basic elements are 20 each, that's not right there. I don't have anything for that. Okay. <laughs> Something that boosts arts. Yeah, that's, that's fair that it would be something uh, <laughs> two would be good at. Alright. Alright, the one in red is the one you are going to go to. City Library, Bakery. Well, I'm already at the... I'm already by the library, so I may as well go check on it. West Street, Casey Apartments, and the CPD headquarters. <laughs> okay, so West Street. Elheim, E Street, Acacia, and then just uh, CPD. <laughs> Surely there's no way we can fuck this up, right? Right? to a fool's hope. I'm literally right by, jeez, 
SCPD headquarters. Right. I mean, that's fair. Right. <laughs> okay. Oh. I see, do you give me stuff? Okay. <coughs> oh, you materials? Ah, okay, so we're doing those still. Er, already? Yep, so pretty much just have Tio analyze the shit out of literally everything we fight. I don't think so. Uh. <laughs> ah. Really, Raymond? Oh, I could go into their own apartments. Alright, time to barge into everybody's houses and be like, hey, where's the book? Two months? Yes, I know my jokes are terrible, but it doesn't matter. Making dad jokes and horrible puns is my thing.
All right, so off to East Street. All right, um... Acacia, Acacia. Oh, that's just a house. Go there, I'll be leaving. Go there, that's somewhere else. Go there, that's leaving. There, that's leaving. Yeah, it's Harbor District. Alright, well, I guess I'm out of the way. <laughs> so I'm checking that. Oh. Guess I should say hi, Felicia. <laughs> That's just a house, house, house. Oh. Duh. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's Noel in France, Mom, huh? Mark and the witch, huh? <laughs> Mademoiselle. That's good. I wonder, can I actually read the books? <laughs> ah, sure. Chain lovers far and wide, I express to you that my utmost gratitude for picking up this book. Long tracks across the continent were laid out 20 years ago as a convenient transportation system for large countries such as the Erebonian Empire and the Calvary Republic. Now the railway has become an immensely important technology that people cannot do without. This rail slowly proliferates, so with will the fans. We are they, the train fanatics. It refers, respectively, to people who either love the look of a vehicle whose ears of use have gently eroded the polish of its exterior, to people who simply enjoy the act of riding in the comfort of a cabin, or to people who find satisfaction in the carefully calculated and planned out service schedules characteristic of the public locomotive companies. Wow, this is really... <laughs> really... <laughs> I'm trying to sell this on us, huh? book will detail the best ways that fanaticism can be indulged in order to honor all our forefathers who painstakingly developed it over the many months and years. It's aimed at any and all beginner train-loving enthusiasts and designed to cultivate and motivate the newly awakened fanatics and explore the fine beasts of steel and thunder in a way that is suited for each individual. I beg of you, dear reader, to not lose sight of your adoration and admiration. Please enjoy this book at your leisure. May the radiance of the railway be with you. Uh, okay. Uh, women who change the world. Preface, study these great women. 
Airbone in Empire, the Ant Sandlot, and the Valkyrie who led the Aizen Ritter in battle. Also, you know, insanely tough and god, some of those fights were good. And, two and, and three and four were good. And <laughs> kinda, <laughs> and kinda, Reen's, Reen and the Stall Ritter's mom, kinda, sorta, which I guess would in some weird way make like Reen and Dooley like adopted sibling like things considering how they were in the eyes of Ari Varian Road. Huh. Never thought on that. <laughs> Never thought on that before, that's weird to just realize. Um, Sheena Dirk, actually behind the Democratic Revolution, Alicia Two from the Hundred Days War to Non Aggression Pact. Figures a term that applies to the shape of something. When describing a woman, it may often be used to describe her physical appearance. In this book, different meaning is intended. A person who is influential or distinctive in some way. The influence of these great women who have proudly followed their convictions continues to inspire and captivate others to this day. We shall retrace the history of these figures who have shaped this continent and paved the way for many other capable women to do the same. And Mark and the Witch, sure. <laughs> Oh, um, you know, this might be a bit, but hey, it's fine. <laughs> I can appreciate all this stuff that's brought in. Once upon a time in a certain farming village, there lived a boy named Mark. Mark's father was an adventurer. Whenever he came home, he would tell grand stories of the place he visited. Mark respected his father, and he told the other children in this village the father's stories as well. But the children living in such remote village adventure stories were very excited. Everyone took a liking to Mark's stories. One such occasion, Mark became such a tale. Today I want to tell you about the witch that my father met. To the north of Mark's village lies a great forest, where a witch is said to dwell. His father told him that he had met this witch deep within the forest. Well, I feel like I've read this already. The listening children imagined what the witch looked like and what magic she would use. They began asking Mark questions. He faithfully answered each in turn, but one boy suddenly declared, all your stories are lies, they gotta be. This boy, Ron, was known to be a bit of a bully. So, you know, the definition of a little shit. He'd always look for faults in stories Mark told, and Mark always got mad when the credibility of his father's adventures got disputed. There's no way my dad would lie about this. Oh yeah? And show us the witch. So I'm looking at <laughs> No. Bring her here. Ron grinned. Mark angrily grabbed hold of Ron. The two began began to scuffle, drawing the attention of nearby adults who broke up the fight. While the scrap had been settled, Mark's anger had not. That night, Mark mulled over his words and the reaction from that day, and he made up his mind. He would beat the shit out of Ron for being a little dick. And a little douche. Wait, no, that's not it. <laughs> Violence isn't the answer. He would not stay quiet. He would show Ron. Okay. He would show his beloved father was not a liar. He the torn cloak his father had left behind, put a loaf of bread in his backpack, and rushed out of the house. I'll find the witch and bring her back. That'll show Ron who's a liar around here. I realize no one is actually probably listening to this. And literally, like, of the five people, of the five people who are probably watching these right now, like, all but maybe, like, one person has skipped past it. If you're that one guy curious about this, then hey, whatever, thanks. I get, I guess, um, sure. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, relying only on the adventurous spirit he inherited from his father, Mark ran towards the forest in the dead of night. The shadowy forest was eerie. Every tree rustled as the wind blew. Far in the distance, the sounds of howling monsters could be heard at times. Mark trembled as these continued. As his father's story went, the witch would have a small hut somewhere deep in the forest. But no matter how much Mark explored, he saw no signs of it. He started the journey bursting with energy, but his pace slowed as he became more tired. Eventually, he found himself lost. I wonder if the witch even really exists, Mark began, losing faith as he became more tired and lost. Is something wrong? Startled, Mark turned to face a, a sudden voice. There'd been nothing there moments ago. But now there stood a black-robed girl. She appeared to be the same age as Mark. Yet Mark did not know any kids from his village that looked like her. Who are you? Mark stammered. Thought it was, a, it was very strange for a girl to be out here this late at night. I'm Anna. I'm a witch who lives in this forest. You know, I could also 
believe that to be Barrel's origin story. <laughs> Cause fuck if I know what Barrel's the deal is. Um, and on that I'm actually going to just pause this for now. I'll be right back in a minute. 